Hi, blessings everyone. This is Yanni, the only luckologist. So we have blessing crowns in Jersey. I don't know when I'm going to post this video, right? So when I post it, it might be around the time when we're not taking clients anymore. Um, I've been so busy and that's clients for Jersey. We've been so busy. I haven't even had time to do videos. This is one of, I think this is like the second video I would have done since we've been working in New Jersey. Um, before I start this and introduce you to this young man here, entrepreneur, um, YouTube blogger also, he's going to tell you who he is. So right now we're not taking clients for Georgia. All right. So I will post the dates when we start taking clients for Georgia. I just want to put that out there. And if you were to call me, my voicemail actually says that. So this is. Hi, this is um, Javon Severin from Lock and Loose. Lock and Loose. Mm -hmm. And you are a vlogger also. Yes. Okay, I you, you're going to give me all the information. We're going to post it up so people can start following you with your luck journey. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you some questions, but before I get to the questions, and I had to take his mask off because he he has a very baritone voice, and I needed to go through with the mic. All right, but we had to take the mask off. So anyway, the reason what made me want to do his video is because um, his mother is actually my client. And just to put this out there so y'all don't even think of calling me and asking me. A lot of people do that, like, hey, Yanni, could I come in for a wash? Like, no, we're not washers. That's not what we're doing here, <laughs> okay? But him, he's actually one, he is the exception. We are only washing his hair because I wanted to do something pertaining to his video to make a point. All right, so I'm doing his mother's hair, and he's only going to have Jimmy detox his hair. I mean, discuss that just now, all right? Um, so he's a free former. What made me want to do this video is that a lot of people who now starting locks, I don't know, we grew up in a country where it wasn't called freeform. You all put phrases and titles and everything. Now, like, I got freeform locks, I got 4C here, I got loose natural, like, it was just here, like, I don't know. Back in my heydays, and I grew up, I was born in the 70s, I'm that old, we didn't put phrases and stuff. I'm still learning all these things, like, what? You mean you just grow your locks and you don't touch it? All right, so in my country, in Trinidad, right? Yep. Shout out, Trini to the board. Okay, Trinis, we call locks like this, Natty Dread, right? Bob Marley had it, my father had it, and my father cut his locks, it was down to his ankles. That mean, back then, it didn't have no lock tissues. There was nobody doing your locks. You just grew it, bongo Natty, Natty Dread, that's what it was called, right? So you just grew your hair. What locked Rasta people or Rasta man, what locked people with locks here is most likely the beach. They went to the beach, they took their hand, they separate chunks of lock into the soil to help lock their hair. When I saw his hair, it reminded me of back home, all right? So a lot of people know uh, they don't want their hair touched, and I'm okay with that because I, I don't do my hair for like more than a year anyway, all right? But they're doing it the wrong way. They just started their locks. And in fact, there's a brother who's here we are supposed to do where he free formed it and he didn't know he was supposed to separate his locks and his locks grew into something looking like a foot, literally. Don't worry, you'll see that video too. So if you decide, if you just started your locks and you decide to free form your locks, right? After your locks form into these, you still have to get in there and gently pull it apart. And for the people asking, you see he hasn't said, ouch, this really doesn't hurt. Okay, because I'm not yanking from the scalp. I'm just gently pulling it apart. You have to do that because remember, as your hair grows, the locking process happens until you return to the ancestors, meaning you passed away or transition, or however you want to call it, die, whatever, or until you leave your hair. It will always lock. Once you're alive, you're here and your, your hair is growing. That's the point I'm trying to make. Your hair would always lock. So if you don't separate it, your locks will still grow together now if that's the look you are looking for then go for it but if you don't want that right you have it every now and then you have to get in there you turn him around you okay mm -hmm. see he said it happy he's not in pain <laughs> the people always think i'll be yanking up people said see what i'm doing you all hearing the rippy noise no nothing is falling out his lock still looks strong right because he has a strong base if i was to do his here which i'm not I can tell you his base is strong. You guys remember I did that video with flat locks and don't trip if you have flat locks. He has beautiful flat locks. Your locks has a mind of its own when it starts growing, all right? So those of you who want this more organic look, which I'm for it, right? Go for it if you want to. Still, there has to be some form of maintenance. 
in the sense where it's very limited you still just have to gently separate and as your hair grow it won't grow clumped up okay be mindful that if you want to go the free form way you want it to form first when did you start to go free form um three months in three months in mm. so but still did you do separation yeah i retwisted twice you retwisted it twice okay got it and how long have you been growing your locks since december 2019 so maybe oh damn your hair grows fast <laughs> I started with long hair. Oh, you started with long hair. That okay, okay. Oh, that's making sense now. <laughs> got it, got it, got it, got it. Right? He has a beautiful, healthy scalp. He was convinced he had dandruff, which you don't. Okay. Another thing too, the reason why you don't want your locks come together, you still have to oil your scalp. You don't have to do it often. You want the oil to at least penetrate your scalp. Oiling is only for the scalp. Oiling is what makes your hair strong. All right. You all know I'm queen of castor oil. If you're allergic to castor oil, pick something else. All right, but you want to get in there when you use something like an applicator bottle like this. This is an applicator bottle. You want when you're able to oil your scalp. If you're free forming and your locks are all clumped up, the oil is not going to penetrate. What happened? The oil is going to sit on the locks and it's going to create, it is still going to create a type of buildup. Not bad buildup, it's just it mixes up with the dead cells from your scalp and as your scalp grows, it becomes mucky. Okay, you want it to just get on your scalp and gently massage it. If you're free for me, you don't have to wash often. Okay, you all know me. I tell people they shouldn't be washing their hair nothing less than two months, but that's just me. If you like to wash your hair every day or every week, you all don't have to post up stuff like saying, well, I don't know, Yanni say wash your hair. Don't wash your hair often, but I need to wash my hair every week. Do I look like I care? Then wash your hair every week. <laughs> these are just suggestions. And most of these suggestions are for my clients. My clients don't wash their hair until they see us. Well, until they see Jimmy, okay? So do what suits you. But for the ones who just don't need to be washing that often because washing dries your hair out, okay? You can wash your hair once every month or every, if you could go two months, even better. And if you're ballsy like us and you want to go every three months, well, my, like my clients, I should say, then wash your hair every three months, okay? Jimmy's going to do the rest of this. I can't do too much of it because you guys know what happened to my hands. All right, so I can't do too much of the separation. Um, we'll also post Jimmy washing his hair, okay? And so let's talk about your, and you guys are going to see the after. So what is your video also about? Um, oh, it's just about my journey with my lock process. So. Okay, you can speak up a little louder. Oh, that that was a signal I was trying to give you that you didn't pick up on. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. It's about my journey with my lock process, but before I got locks, it was also with my natural hair, my loose hair. So you had thick, loose hair. Mm -hmm. All right, Four what made years. you lock your hair up? Um, I would say maybe Jaden Smith, probably, like more of a style, but then it became more of like just, you know, letting it be without right. thinking about other people. Okay, and why, why, I know, because I know somebody want to ask that, somebody that's in your age group, mm -hmm. um, what made you not want to have traditional getting your hair neat versus just letting it grow into a nice crown of disrespectfulness? That's a compliment, by the way. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was uh, Valerie June, so um, she preforms, she semi-preforms, and she just like, you know, uh, mm -hmm. separates her hair. All of her locks are flat, and I like the... Um, personality and the uniqueness of each lock. And each actually lock is like her. a fingerprint. Yeah, it is a fingerprint. Right. Um, I like the, some people don't like flat locks, but flat locks to me are like really beautiful. Yeah. And they, they make the hair just like unique. Because it's unique. Not yeah. everybody locks grow flat. We yeah. met a, a lady in Georgia, a young girl, and um, she had flat locks. And I did a video and finally people started appreciating mm -hmm. like, oh my God, flat locks. Like, <laughs> again, I grew up seeing this. Yeah, this yeah. The lock journey is still, even though with people with long, long hair, it's still unique to them. And we saw all type of locks and every, nobody locks grows the same. No two mm -hmm. people locks. Yeah, yeah. It's a fingerprint. Then no two locks on your head grows the same. That's also the fingerprint. Right, right. It has a mind of its own. Yeah. Um, what is some of the stuff you, you promote on your YouTube page? Um, for, well, for right now, just my, uh, hair journey. Okay. Um, but on my Instagram page, um, I post other people with mm -hmm. locks for like motivation. Right. And, um, for my business page, I post what I'm currently working on as far as, uh, hoodies or the headband. Okay. So if, you know, you guys want to check that out, it's called Locked and Loose on Instagram. And you're going to give me all that information mm -hmm. and people could come follow you. Yep. Sounds like a plan. Yep. All right. Good. High five. <laughs> there we go. All right. So... 
Jimmy's almost done with Queen Mother, and then he's going to start on you when he's thing. Then we'll talk about your watch. Sounds okay. like a plan, yeah. and then you're going to do a um, after video. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. I like the prong in your hair. Yeah. The color. You know why that happened, right? Oh, the sun. Doesn't the, the sun? sun. Yeah. It's the sun, yes. See, it's I was going to make a video about that. I make, yes. I try to make videos about the science of certain things. Yes. So, like salt water, I talked mm -hmm. about how uh, osmosis, I think it is, the process of it, how it works, how it helps the hair to, to lock up. Yeah. Yes. So, a lot of people appreciate that on the channel. And that's weird. And you see, I just mm -hmm. said it. I say yeah. back in the day, that's how the Rasta man in our country locked his hair. You just right. went, because we live on an island. Mm -hmm. Growing up, Trinidad seemed big until you came to America and you're like, shit, this, I really lived on a small island, yeah. but you know, we're surrounded by border. And the Rastas will go, the Rastafarians and them, they go to the beach and the, the beach, along with the sun, lock their hair, but also right. change the, the color. color. It yeah. also changed the color of your hair. Right. So it's not a bad thing. I just, mm. I'm, I post these videos so people could learn, especially the new set of lock wearers, yeah. could learn whether you want to have your hair, um, but what did I say? Neat or not yeah. neat, but yeah. just, you know, in forms, whatever. And if you want to go like you, it's where you just let it be what it wants to be. The point is appreciate your luck journey. Mm -hmm. That's what, why we post these videos. Okay, so let's okay. pause it and let's head over to Jimmy. Okay, guys, so we are back. He is, um, Jimmy okay. is giving him his final, wash. his final wash, right? So if you do have free form locks like Javon, just... Um, Keep it simple. Your best stuff for free for just locks period. You want to avoid shampoos and conditioners. Okay, those are detanglers, especially conditioners. So keep it simple. I like Dr. Bronner's. They have an array of different scents, like they have peppermint, lavender, rose. If you're dealing with um, dandruff or seborrheic dermatitis or any type of um, scalp issue, you want to go with um, tea. Tea, thank you, sweetums, with tea tree. All right, but if it's ordinary healthy hair you have and you're free forming or you have locks, just period, but it's free forming or maintain locks, pick either the peppermint, the lavender, lavender or the rose. Okay, he has a beautiful scalp of hair with his ridiculous eyebrows. Yes. He doesn't need to have anyway. Let me stay focused. So, <laughs> y'all know I have an eyebrow problem, you know, it's a real issue. I have, I'm seeking therapy though. I am. <laughs> okay, um, Javon, how does your wash feel? Feels good. It feels good? Yeah. Okay. Feel he like... could finally, like, um, get into my scalp since he, you know, separated. Since he did the separation. Right. Are you sleep Were you sleeping? Or is your eyes all red? <laughs> You're sticking ah. a snooze, won't you? <laughs> yeah. I know that. His eyes are like red. <laughs> all right. So, Jimmy had to separate his locks. You guys remember what I was showing? Sorry, I couldn't post that part because I'm actually doing... A young lady who came in flew in from Montreal, so I'm finishing her here. And, um, I'm sorry for the pounding upstairs. Okay, but Jimmy did have to separate his locks even more so he can penetrate the scalp that inside of it. All right, so you guys are going to see the after video. Okay, guys, so we are back. Javon is done. He got an amazing wash from Jimmy. Please, you guys, I'm going to leave his contact information, his YouTube, everything. He has amazing content. In fact, I just shared some content with him so he could share it on his page. I have hundreds of content. I haven't even posted yet. Right? So he could share it on his page. For anyone who wants to free form and take this route, you guys head over to his page because he'll be giving great advice. Okay, now always remember you might see his hair. Do not suffer with luck envy and be like, oh my God, I want my hair look like that. Or tag a optician and tell them. I see a lot of people do that and that's just foolishness. And then the person will be like, yeah, I can make your hair look like that. No, you can't. No, you can't. This is not a style. This is a fingerprint. Okay, so anybody tell you they could make your locks look like somebody else's locks? That is craziness. All right? Nothing you do, your locks will ever look like another person's locks, even if you were twins. And we have clients who are twins and their locks do not look the same. Okay? Right. So enjoy your own luck journey. Pray that you manifest, speak into existence, whatever word you want to use, that you have your full head up here, and that should be your focus. Every now and then separate your locks. See? Jimmy did a good. I separated. Then Jimmy did another separation. I oiled his scalp. And it's nice and fluffy. Now the air capacity is going to sunbathe with his locks because his locks is very damp. And he has a texture similar to mine's where our hair holds moisture. When your hair holds too much moisture, it's prone to have a type of dampy smell.
So he's going to talk more about this, but I'm just putting it there, right? What you want to do on a nice summer day like this, if you do wash your hair, go, even though you dry it with a towel, not a t-shirt, another thing that is extremely asinine. People say they t-shirt dry their hair. That makes absolutely no sense. Just use an ordinary towel and use more than one if your hair is like ours that don't dry fast, right? When you finish, go sit out in the sun, suck up all that vitamin D, and most importantly, your hair will dry the healthy way. All right, you don't need a dryer or anything. Don't use those stuff in your hair. Okay, nice and fluffy, very disrespectful and inappropriate. See, I can't even find his his scalp. That's his scalp there, right? And as I said, he is the exception. We are not going to do his hair because his mother is our client. Jimmy just washed his hair because he want to continue to reform me. Do not watch this video and then call my phone telling me you want me to wash your hair. That call will not be returned. We are not washers, okay? He has the exception. <laughs> All right. So, turn back so you can see a nice fluffy hair. So, what advice would you give anyone that is free for me? Um, definitely Speaking separate. Definitely separate your hair. Um, at least maybe two weeks. Right. Nice. Um, when you wash your hair, uh, uh, sun dry it. Mm -hmm. um, use multiple towels. I would use one towel. So uh, multiple towels. You would need more than one. Yeah. You have. I used <laughs> one. Let's be real. You need more than one. More than, more than use one as towel. much as you need. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Don't don't go by the number, right? Because you was just sucking up all my towels. So right. you, so, <laughs> <laughs> we were running out. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah, I think that's pretty much. So, what advice would you give to anyone besides that? But mm -hmm. would you advise any person who now wants to just reform and come away from the the shop look or the neat look? Would um, you give them a if it suits, I guess, their lifestyle. And, I agree um, with that. That's probably even professions. Some yeah. professions don't allow, you know, the yeah. rough look. So I would say um, it, it's personal. It's, it's personal, yeah. 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 Well, we're lucky. We have a lot of, we actually have quite a few free formers. We have clients who do have professional jobs, mm -hmm. but because of their jobs, they could do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. All right. So we are going to do a photo shoot with you outside. Again, okay. um, you can call out the name of your web, all your Mm -hmm. tag you can call it out now and then you send me the links and i'll post it on the, this post okay so people can follow you subscribe to you guys follow subscribe share all his stuff please yeah. support him he has a clothing line headband line all that kind of line yeah, right so um you guys can follow me on youtube and locked and loose i mean youtube and instagram at locked and loose locked and loose how do you spell that l-o-c-d-a-n-d-l-o-o-s-d Okay. All right. So, guys, he is, um, you're going to school just now, right? Mm -hmm. What are you going to school to study? Uh, architecture. Architecture. Good. So, that's what we like to hear. So, you'll be locked and professional. I love it. I love it. So, you'll be building buildings mm -hmm. as a Rasta man. <laughs> High five, bro. High five. All right, guys. Um, subscribe, share, like. All right. And you guys are going to see his photo shoot pictures in the end.